Alright, so I'm out here today trying to clean out around these uh, flowers and such down through here. And I decided when I seen these lower limbs on this uh, miracle fruit, I'm going to uh, try to um, uh, put them in water and root them. I might put a little root tone in there, but uh, there's, you know, they're down there close to the bottom and I want that to be cleaner down there on the bottom, so I'm going to cut those off and let's see if they'll root. Okay, y'all. Uh, this has been a really good day. I've had a lot of energy and a lot of, a lot of being able to do a lot of stuff. Um, and we ran out of, um, of mango jelly. Um, put my last jar in the refrigerator. And so I decided, hmm, since I'm feeling pretty good today, um, I mean, I always have pain, but I'm feeling pretty good today. I would make some, uh, more mango jam for the kids, my grandkids, and my daughter just, I mean, literally almost drink it. They love it so much. So, uh, here it is. And it's hard to cook while you, um, while you're taping, so I'm going to, uh, let this come to a boil again and um, and then I'm going to jar it up and put it in the water bath or so anyways um, got my water bath on and it's uh, it's not quite boiling yet it's starting to have a little bubbles here and there but anyways I'll let you in on the next video um, in the next piece. Okay, so here's a little tip for you. Um, I have these spoons that are really, really shallow, but they're very big. Those make really great for skimming off the, uh, the stuff off the top without you taking all the juice. So, I've learned that uh, the bigger uh, spoons and stuff like that take a lot of the juice along with it. So if you want to have uh, less loss and get rid of this bitterness that this puts off on the mangoes, um, you definitely want to have a, a spoon that you can just slide through and skim it off so there we have it it's all skimmed off and I'm ready to uh, jar it up and um, get this get this job on the road be back in the next step okay so there you have it four and a half jars of jam the kids will be excited to get some more they really, really love it. Okay, so my bromeliads are in blooming again. I don't know uh, which ones of them, how many of them is going to bloom, but I got three of them so far. Some of the old ones that you seen back a month or two ago. Ouch. <laughs> Run into a pot out of the tree. <laughs> Our blooming it now isn't that the most beautiful thing? Too bad it's not edible at least it's not that I know of so uh, whew, what a day I've been so busy I just stopped for a minute the kids just went home so I stopped for a minute I thought I'd walk through the front yard I don't come out here a whole lot but I saw my Vermilions uh, blooming, and my uh, 
I don't know what you call that thing right there. It's a purple shamrock or whatever. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, I want to repot that and get it in the hanging basket. And I need to go up in here and get some of my orchids out. They've fallen out of the tree. So maybe if I have any juice tomorrow, I can do that. And my dad lilies are blooming. Isn't that pretty? It's neat how God makes things so beautiful. to do something with these staghorn ferns. Oh, one of these days, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I got more vermilions underneath all this mess. And this is the, uh, I can't think of the name of it right offhand. Persimmon. That I cut down, and this is the pups that keep coming up out of it. Now, I could let them go ahead and grow, but, and they're the nastiest tasting things. They're so sour. And underneath here, that the vines got um, up onto my bodacaba. Let's see what we got underneath here. It's just too hot right now to stay out here too much. But see the boat jo boot -a 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 -boot -a 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 underneath there. And I'm telling you, these vines put off these little stinking fruit. That are nasty and stink oh my goodness they stink but the jabota cob is growing a little bit and uh, show you these bromeliads over here aren't they gorgeous <laughs> but they're being, they're being uh, shaded out or I should say all this overgrowth needs to come out but as many of you know in my health you got to do what you got to do when you can do it and another one of the most beautiful plants I have oh please don't sting me again I just saw a big old giant wasp I had a lot out the last few days but uh Aren't they gorgeous? I love it. I thought about taking it out because it's really, you know, doesn't produce nothing and it's a waste of land, but it's really not for me because I think your your uh, well-being should be taken care of too. Uh, my frangy pangies are looking beautiful and over here on this one it's fixing to have some blooms. <laughs> I believe these are yellow, if I remember correctly. I never can keep up with all that. <coughs> and I'm getting some more growth on this. Uh, I can't remember what what this tree was. Mm. It's either a Mexican plum or it's a sugar apple. Either one, I'm very happy with it if it grows because uh, my neighbor had them, you know, and she shared them with me. And my beautiful macadamia nut growing like a weed. <laughs> it's grown a lot this week, this, this, uh, this season. 
And it looks like it's got a nest up there. Anyways, let me get, push this by and get by it. Oh my goodness. And of course I've got a uh, real pretty uh, hibiscus double bloom red one. I like, I like flowers too. And there he goes another, no that's a hornet. I don't want to get stung by him either but I'm allergic to wasp. But I got stung by one oh, a couple of days ago. And uh, I actually did not have to go to the hospital this time because it didn't get me that good. So I, uh, I got to get out here and collect some seeds before they all fall on my floor clocks. They're the crimson, beautiful. Uh, see the seeds? The, um, I think it's, no, I don't know what color it is. It's a really bright, bright pinkish purple color. Anyways, see all the seeds in there? I just flick them out in my hand. And, uh, I'm going to save them. And I'm going to see if I can't plant them some other places in the, uh, yard. Too, because I really truly love the smell of them and they don't take up much space oh it smells so good <clears throat> and I'm literally the sweat is just dripping off of me <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get back inside but uh, We're going to check on these air layers either today or tomorrow. So I'm going to wait until this evening to put out a video. Because if he checks on these and then cuts them off, I'll get that in a video for y'all. Anyways, it's beautiful, but it's hot. I love living in Florida. I just wish it was cooler. And I wish I had a big, huge piece of property so that I could have some cows and some horses and a whole bunch of chickens and, and uh, turkeys. And I don't have to deal with little kids riding uh, vehicles that they're not supposed to be riding with no helmet, worrying about them. <laughs> I shouldn't worry about them, but I do. That's just my nature. Anyways. Oh, and I gotta show you this too. But I, this is where I got stung the other day, so I have to be really careful. Look at my fruit falling off. I'm gonna have to get that. I know that fruit's good. So I can get that and pick it up. But look at all the fruit and the tree. Yep, it is, it is getting ripe. I didn't realize that some of them had already got ripe enough to fall off, but I came out here the other day and I picked a whole bunch of these and I left these because they weren't ripe yet. So yeah, that's ripe today. Anyways, uh, I'll get these off. And, uh, as you can see, it's blooming again. It's got a whole bunch of little blooms setting on it. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> got a call right in the middle of that. Uh, my daughter let me know that she's at her dad's with my truck. Anyway, see? Got some more fruit on it. And, and there, oh, that one's ready too, I think. It fell off. Like, 
few more right with it. Let me see if I can pick that up. Without falling. It's done so well since we uh, since we mulched it. I'm getting another one over here. Since we mulched it, and I'm gonna get those vines are starting to grow around it, but uh, got all those all that grass from her that was choking it. It's done really well, so. It'll give me several more, uh, several more things of fruit on it this year, probably, before it gets cold. And I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with all my, my, uh, star fruit. I give them to a, a lot of people at church, and, uh, they're just more than I can handle. Um, the mangoes, I can freeze them. And I do freeze a lot of star fruit too, but I'm not going to take the mangoes out of my freezer for the star fruit. But uh, my pineapple's getting big. Unfortunately, I think this is the only pineapple I have this year, which is sad, sad, sad. I'm going to be getting this stuff out of the way to this week I think this probably this coming weekend and uh, you know I think I will take uh, one of these off of the tree because it I know it hasn't turned red but see this one it's hard and I don't think it's I don't think it's any good but I'm gonna see if this is any good and I'll let you know whenever I cut that open in the house okay so I'm in the house and these two are very very hard so I'm gonna get a knife and try to cut them hang on okay so I'm cutting around here this is very very hard Hope y'all can see this. I'm ugh, trying to figure out a way for y'all to be able to catch this on the camera. I gotta learn how to use cameras and stuff, but. Oh, yeah, look at that. That makes me very, very happy. Look how beautiful that is. So, I'm gonna go back out there and I'm gonna get the rest of these. And I'm going to harvest them. So. But right now, I'm going to wait until it gets cooler. So, I'll bring you back later on to see what it's like. Bye. Well, okay. So, that's what I got out of the, the one pomegranate. And unfortunately, like I thought, that one wasn't any good. Don't know what kind of pest got it, but something got it. So, I'm not going to put that in my compost bin. I'm just going to throw that into the garbage. And, as you can see, there was several uh, that didn't form totally. I tasted it. It tasted good. But I think it could have been a few days older to make it a little bit sweeter, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I, once I put it in the refrigerator, it will get sweeter. So we shall see. But look at all them beautiful seeds I've got. Yum, yum, yum. Can't wait to eat them. Stay tuned for more. Okay, y'all. This is the end of the day. David came up, we did our air layering, and I'm going to send out a uh, video of that tomorrow, but that's a sneak peek of our air, one of our air layers. 
catch you in tomorrow's video. This is Kathy Stevenson with Living Miracle Homestead. Have a great evening or morning or noontime, whichever you're watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit, hit uh, the notification bell so you know when my videos are coming up. See you later. Bye.